Another good feature of ETAB is in bigger projects and busier one-line diagrams in order to uh, separate different sections of one-line diagram, we can put them into a group uh, using a tool which is called Composite Network. And you can find it, this tool on the toolbar on the right side here. Like in this test project, we can extend the bus to and connect one of this composite network to the bus to and as you can see this square shape network has four connections on its each side and we use one side to connect it to bus 2 by double clicking on the network we will be directed to another area which is whatever is included inside this composite network so what we should do again first of all let's turn on the grid lines to have a better view and now you can see all those four connections on the left side and the right side and the bottom side and on the top side which is bus 2 connection so now let's say we're gonna have a breaker connected to this bus 2 branch and make let's make it nice and neat okay so we can have another bus and can extend it now we can add as many as loads needed for this section like two motors by the way uh, one another good way of putting multiple loads with the same type is to double click on its icon so that you don't need to go back and forth between your um, one line and the toolbar to select another one for example again if we want to have three lump loads we double click on its icon and we put one and two and three and then you can push escape button and release it so for example, in this case, we have three lump loads. And let me make it look again nice and clean because it's always important to have your one line diagram look nice. Just because of the future purposes. So if you let me, I'm going to extend my bus because I have this, oops, okay. So now you can see that, for example, and let's double click on this bus and let's name it one of the MCCs or motor control centers that we have in our project, MCC number one and click on OK and as you can see it automatically fetches the upstream voltage that is bus 2 voltage and it's 4.16 this is the very basic concept of composite networks using ETAP and if you want to go back to upstream of this composite ne network simply double click on the connection that this you know this part is connected to which in this case is bus number two so double click on bus two and you will be out of the composite network and you will have your main one line view here and you can maximize that and see that you have your network one connected to bus two which again by double clicking on that you can go inside this composite network and come back one last thing, if you remember, this network is connecting MCC number one to the main bus, which is the upstream bus, which is bus two. So we simply right click on the 
network and click on properties to change the name to MCC1. Now we know that this network represents MCC1.